Right, so now let's run the program. You can see that all of these numbers have been copied over into these cells. Now let's go through the code. Firstly, dim first array four. This four signifies that there are going to be four positions in this array, first array, and every position can store an integer. However, in this case, we are using the numbers inside the brackets to represent a specific position. So in this case, we use the number inside the brackets to represent the length of the array. And in this case, we use the numbers inside the brackets to represent the position of the array. So we are storing the values in the cell A5 into position one and all the way to cell A8 and into position four. And then we take the values out of these array positions and put them into the cells. If we remove this as integer part, the program will still work. However, we cannot remove this dim first array part. See what happens when I remove it. And we have an error. So I will stop the program and press undo. You will see in this code that one is the first position in the array. However, if we like, we can start counting from zero. So if we want to count four positions from zero, we will count zero, one, two, three. I will demonstrate. I will now run this program. The program still works. So what we can learn from this is that positions in arrays in VBA, we can start counting them either from one or from zero. This is a feature of VBA. In some languages, for example, C, arrays will always start from zero. In other languages, for example, R, arrays will always start from one. This is intended to make it easier for you to write programs that use arrays. Let's go to the next programming task. You must store the following numbers into an array and then output them into the blue cells below. I will just do the first one. This time I will dim the array as double. Why? Because every number here has decimal places therefore we will use the double type of variable
Okay, so now I will run this program. As you can see, this 5.11234 has been copied over. I will not show you in this demonstration how to copy these over. You will have to do this yourself using the skills that you learned in this video. Your third programming task will be to copy these words over into this column. This time they are strings and we will be using the string variable type. This time we have dim third array string. Run the program. And as you can see, arrays has been copied over. Your homework will be to complete the rest of this blue box using the skills that you have learned in this video. Your next programming task is similar to the variables one, but this time use arrays. First calculate the average return for BHP stock with the average formula and place the value into the yellow cell below. Then do the same thing in VBA and output your answer into the blue cell before. This time you must store the returns into an array. Compare your two answers and make sure they are the same. Your calculation using the Excel formula equals average is a prototype for your VBA program. Firstly, you should make a program plan to plan your program and then you can prototype and you can write your code. And then your final programming task is into each cell below first output the return for that day minus the average return obviously you will prototype your work first in the yellow cells and you must store your returns into an array so use an array And obviously this program, please plan it so that you understand how to plan a long and complex program, even though this program is still quite small. Do this now.